This is Bob Sansevier. I'm here with fellow Pioneer Press sports columnist Tom Powers and Charlie the Shooter Walters. We're going to talk about the uh, 10 sports figures of the last decade. Go through the list quick, and then we'll either rip it to shreds or agree with it. First on the list, Joe Maurer. Second, Brett Favre. Kevin Garnett. Adrian Peterson. Fifth, Kirby Puckett, Kevin McHale, Ron Gardenhire, Johan Santana, Jacques Lemaire, and Justin Morneau. I don't think there's any doubt that uh, we can all be in agreement on the first pick. And from there, I think maybe we may not be 100% on board. Any any chance at all, Tom, that Joe Maurer is not the sports figure of the decade? Yes, I didn't vote for him as for the sports figure of the decade. To me, the, the most important man in the last decade here in Minnesota sports figure was Judge Harry Crump, the man who kept the Minnesota Twins uh, in Minnesota with his ruling. If it weren't for Judge Crump, there would be no twins. They'd be contracted by now, uh, and uh, we wouldn't have Joe Maurer. So. Should he? Well, Maurer's comes into existence in the, the last uh, five years of this decade. In the first first five years, he was just in high school and uh, just getting started in the minor leagues. But no, I agree with you. I mean, he's, he's going to be the biggest sports story in, uh, uh, in, in Minnesota history, the biggest signing. It's going to be a $20 million a year deal. Ten years, eight years, something like that. It's a big deal. Well, you, know, Brett, you said Harry. Cr- I thought you meant the John Candy character. No, no, no. But we got Brett Fa- Favre, number two. He came into existence in like the last five minutes. I know. I don't. This, <laughs> last five minutes of this decade, and he's number two. So. Well, the two names that I thought that that I had on the list that I didn't see were John Gallardi, who's been around. He could be the sports figure of the last six decades, and also Natalie Darwitz, who uh, who has been instrumental in certainly uh, women's hockey, not only at the Gophers but also throughout the. Uh, you know, internationally too. But the one that I was a little surprised wasn't hired. Uh, the shooter was Jacques Lemaire. Uh, well, he's got the best. What has he got? The best hockey in the NH- or best record in the NHL right now. And uh, I, I suppose well, when he could... played for the, when he was coaching the Wild. I'm sorry. When he was coaching the Wild. Right? Yeah, I know. But I'm saying that the loss of Lemaire is. Uh, has become pretty evident, I guess, uh, uh, although this club's playing pretty well now. But, but Tommy, are you surprised there weren't more hockey players? I'm surprised Marion Gabrick wasn't on the list. He was the face of the wild for a decade, and I thought she should have been on there. The two guys that are on the two guys that are on the list right in the middle here, Kirby Puckett and Kevin McHale, are on the list for the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Puck was done playing by the by the time the decades started, and uh, and what happened after that wasn't very nice. And of course, Kevin McHale, you know, single handedly took an axe to the franchise. So. <laughs> I mean, uh, to have them on the top ten, yeah, but but not in a positive way. And just to note, th- these are sports figures as uh, as chosen by the uh, Pioneer Press Sports Department. So we all did have input on who they were. I also was in agreement with Brett Favre for one, you know, not even a full season for him to be on it. Garnett, I don't think you could argue that he and, and Adrian Peterson should be on that list. Do you? Uh, but would you put them as high as they are, third and fourth? Well, maybe Garnett. He's been here a while. I, I, he had been here for a while, and there was so much, so many things swirling around him, and he was the face of the franchise. Peterson was kind of the first breath of hope they got after a little bit of a, a mediocre to down period. So, I mean, I can see why he's there. But I would have had, I, you know, like I said, I would have had Gabrick pretty high on that list. So I, I don't disagree that he should be on. And, and Shooter, I, I, under, I agree with Tom about Kirby Puckett because it, He's on the list because he passed away. McHale, I'd leave on the list. But I, the one, I mean, if you're looking at that list and you want to insert someone in there, who would you take off? Probably, probably McHale because he's uh, he, he's been an administ- he was an administrator, so not as a player. I mean, he was a he was a bust as a uh, as an administrator, and uh, really, his only rele- his only rele- relevance probably is that he uh, he fired Flipper. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's on the list because he passed away too, <laughs> <laughs> in a different way. <laughs> Well, I, uh, I mean, if I were to, to look at it, I agree with Puckett. Maybe Johan Santana I wouldn't put on the list because I do think Morneau should be on there and Gardenhire and Maurer. And, uh, I mean, it's when you look at that list, though, it's interesting that there's not a single person from the Wolves who's still around involved with the Wolves. And uh, same thing uh, you can, can be said for the, uh, for the Wild. Now, anybody that we haven't mentioned shooter usually have guys out in the third grade getting ready to, for the U. <laughs> anybody like that you see over the next decade? Yeah, what's a little birdie tell you on this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> the party doesn't tell me much. We're gonna have to wait for the next. I agree with the Maurer thing. Morneau is, you know, he's got the back deal. That's gonna be a big story in spring training, whether or not he uh, that back comes around. But uh, you know, as Tom said Peterson's averaging what three three that's, yards a carry, four out. yards a game. So I, I don't know. I mean, who knows? These running backs burn out in three four years. So I don't know if, and, if he'll be part of that next decade either. One more thing, uh, quickly. And he would be on this list if he's still around. Which of the manager, in Gardenhire's case, or coaches of the uh, the other teams is most likely to be here 10 years from now? Well, I'd have to go with, I mean, Gardenhire, obviously. Uh, well, I think Rambus will have jumped off a bridge by then. <laughs> um, uh, Childress, you know, is kind of a 
love hate relationship with with him, and it won't take much to get him out of here. I don't think. I think Guardy will be the only one that'll be here in the well into the next decade. All right, Tom Shooter, thanks a lot. We'll talk about this again in ten years. Well, you're like uh, our uh, our great sports editor Mike Bass said, uh, Bob. You are really good at this. Yeah. Nice Shooter, job. we were supposed to end when I said thanks oh, a lot. Okay. <laughs> well, we have a commercial. You got some. Yeah, we got a commercial right now. Right. I was going to say we'll come see you in the home in ten years and do this again. <laughs> yeah. I probably won't be on this next <laughs> my, I won't be part of this next day, I think. You'll be sitting in a chair going, I know Kirby Puckett.